Hi everyone, it's Jaakko here. I want to show you guys this issue that I have in Blender Cycles render when I'm trying to deal with low poly models such as this. So, so I have a really simple model here. Actually, it's it's uh, it's just this basic low poly uh, uh, model which I have some big normal maps and and it renders just beautifully in uh, Marvel's toolbag and and in game engines and it just the model it has nothing wrong in it. I know and. Uh, and I even rendered it in Blender's um, uh, internal renderer, which I'm going to show you soon. So, so when I'm bring, bringing the model here and I'm just uh, put some lights on it, I'm getting this uh, pretty bad uh, jacked stuff. I'm just going to go in here and uh, and reduce the size of the light so we can see it better. So that if we have like, so you get this, and well, this doesn't really look exactly great. So. So I did some digging and this effect is actually called the Terminator Artifact and I'm going to put uh, some links to this on description so you can actually take a look at some de technical papers there as well so so we can kind of um, so you can read it and, and, and know more about this uh, sort of a phenomenon that happens with some GI renders. So if I'm going to switch to, to Blender's internal renderer here, we can actually take a look at this and see that how it looks there. So I'm going to go here. I'm just going to change the material to the to the other one. So so it's way better uh, if we go to Blender's internal renderer. So we can see that this is actually sort of a way better. Now we don't have any more of those uh, those really super jacked lines and uh, and where the shadows are falling. So this is way better. It's not really perfect either. It's just something that we have to deal with. Uh, low poly models that, you know, uh, for the nose has something, I think that's just a shadow that's being cast from from this point. And then, so uh, that's just something that happens. But uh, but otherwise, um, uh, low poly models, uh, the Blender's internal render works way better on stuff like that. So. Blender is going to have the new EV um, real-time render, which probably doesn't have any of these issues. So uh, I'm really looking forward to EV and and so on. But so far, if you're if you need to render out some uh, low poly models or some game models in in Blender, it might be better to use the Blender's internal render. Or otherwise, uh, if you want to fix this issue, the other ways to fix it would be that you just uh, subdivide the model and bake it bake if you have some normals you can bake it again and uh, then make um, make everything uh, a little bit more fine in that way that that you just have more geometry and less and and you can also tweak the lights to to maybe uh, increase the size a little bit so this will actually make it way better and and less uh, uh, obvious to the viewer so uh, this was Jaco I hope you enjoyed this little look on on terminator artifact in blender cycles render i hope to see you soon uh, goodbye